Well, I don't understand. Daddy's never had heart trouble before. Honey, there is nothing you can do for your father right now. You'd be better off worrying about Teresa. Mother, would you just stop with that already? I'm not the least bit suspicious of Teresa. Yeah, that's the problem. Mother, I have no reason to be. She's not trying to take Ethan away from me. How can you be so blind? I wouldn't trust that girl alone with my chauffeur, let alone with the heir to the Crane Empire. Mother, who cares whether or not you trust Teresa? I trust Ethan completely, so stop trying to stir up trouble. It's not like Ethan and Teresa are off alone somewhere declaring their love for each other. Then you went ahead and, and told me that I'm the one you love. I'm just so happy. I, mean, I can't even describe how I feel to think that you love me and only me. What? You look so... I, I don't know. Is something wrong? mistake. When you told me to walk off if I didn't love you, I should have. And what are you saying? That you don't love me? I'd like to tell you something that I did, Father. Go on. Is it ever okay to lie, Father? Well, what were the circumstances, Eve? A white lie, while not technically right, can always be pardoned. This wasn't a white lie, Father. To tell you the truth, it was a lie to cover up a murder. Murder? But I didn't lie so much to cover up the murder, Father. It was to save a relationship. It was for the sake of true love. But I'm not sure true love can ever be saved when someone tells a lie like that. But it worked, Father. At least it did in this situation. If I lied to cover up a horrible truth. A truth that that would have just destroyed a chance for happiness for this couple and a truth that would have just ruined their lives. Hey. Made you some tea. Thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry about losing it before crying like that. You don't have to apologize for anything. You, you, come on, you've been through so much tonight. We both have. We both thought that I killed your father. Well, thanks to you going under hypnosis, we know you didn't. You didn't kill anyone. When I think about all these years I've suffered because of those nightmares. Thinking I had done something horrible, seeing a body under a bloody sheet. Well, you've explained what your dreams were about. Your mother. Yeah. She never fully recovered after my birth. When she died, I always blamed myself. And, uh, your guilt of her death caused nightmares. Is it really that simple? I don't know. I, I guess so. You know, Eve's a doctor. She should know. But I'm still kind of ticked off at her. Why? Well, I know she meant well, but, you know, just letting us believe that you did kill my father. That you did see a face under a bloody sheet? Well, she thought that if I relived that night and the horrors of it, then it would help me to face the reality that nothing happened. It's not her fault. Yeah. I guess she, she meant well. She, she knows what she's doing. <sighs> she was tough going through, though, huh? <laughs> you, you know, uh... I could really use some fresh air. I'll go for a walk. I was just about to suggest one. 
so I'm glad. so glad. <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad that nothing happened that night. Yeah, me too. So how about that walk? Toxic. Kane Miguel could be dead within a matter of minutes. What really baffles me is how the heck did they get to Harmony in the first place? <laughs> well, we know where the snakes came from. They came from the bowels of hell. <laughs> Talk to you and Gwen together. But you didn't. And I'm glad that you told me that I was the one. Well, but I, I didn't say you were the one. But you said that you loved me. I don't want to hurt you, Teresa. I mean, that's why I should have waited till the three of us were together so we could talk it all out. I mean, you said that you love me, and now it's like you want to take it back? No, Teresa, you, you don't understand. I do love you. Okay. Well, then I'm settled. But it isn't. I mean, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. That I love Gwen, too. I treated Sheridan Crane tonight. I used hypnosis to draw out her memories. She recalled what happened that night. She remembered coming downstairs, seeing a shadow, picking up a letter opener, and then seeing blood on her hands. Blood on her hands? And the, bar the body of Martin Fitzgerald. What are you saying, Eve, that Sheridan... She killed Louisa's father. Dear God. When she came out of the hypnosis, I didn't tell her the truth. I told her that her nightmares were caused by something else, and I don't want anybody else to know the truth either. I want to keep it a secret. Why, why would you want to keep it? It's... Just, she's just a, a child, Father. I, I don't think that... Something that happened in someone's past should ruin their chances for happiness in the future. It just doesn't seem right to me. I see. I want Sheridan and Louise to have a chance at happiness. It's just so obvious that they love each other. Do you really believe the reason you didn't tell them the truth was because of true love? Yes. Why else would I lie? Because you identify with Sheridan. You've told me that you have secrets in your own past you believe could destroy your future. Well, by protecting Sheridan, 
and feel you're protecting yourself. Oh, fuck. Sometimes these secrets in my past, they frighten me so much. I'm just so afraid that if they get found out, I'll lose my husband and my family. He wanted to keep Sheridan's past a secret for fear that somehow it would open up the secrets of your own past. What's going on in here? Do you see? Yeah, well, you know, uh, gotta hand it to you. It took a lot of courage to, to go through what you did tonight. Had to find out the truth. Yeah. Found out a lot of truths tonight. Yes, we did. But, uh, you know, there's one more that I need you to know. I want you to know the truth about how I feel about you. happen I want you to know that you are and always will be the love of my life No, just a very bad case of indigestion. I'll be back to tell you when you can see him. Thank you, doctor. Oh, I was so worried it was his heart. Yes, well, very powerful men like your father have a habit of living to a very ripe old age. I think you'd be better off worrying about Miss Lopez Fitzgerald. Oh, you're like a broken record, mother. How many times do I have to tell you that Ethan loves me and that I trust him? 
Look what the power Ethan has right now. Being the heir to the crane fortunate, it sheds a whole new light on him. You can never trust him. Never. God, I hate this. You don't hate me, do you? No, of course not, Teresa. I hate causing you so much pain and confusion. There's so much I have to tell you. I won't interrupt again. I want you to understand how I feel and what led me to my decision. You want to take a walk? Where to? The wharf. I'll tell you everything there. About what the future holds for you, Gwen, and me. Get your hands off me. No, Father Lonigan, uh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't realize it was you. Uh, I saw my wife crying. I thought someone was hurting her. Oh, I understand. But anger is never the solution. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm working on my temper. Glad to hear it. Honey, what's going on? Why are you crying? Are you okay? Oh, I just came to get some advice from Father Lonigan about a patient. What are you doing here, TC? Well, I was on my way over to the youth center and uh, to drop off some nets to Luis. He's got a basketball league, and I saw your car and thought I would come in and... Are you okay? You look tired. Oh, it's just been a long day. Yeah, well, hey, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and run those nets over, and I'll swing back by and see you, and we'll go home, and <laughs> we'll spend some time together. That'd be nice. See you soon. Do you see what his temper is like, Father? It's hair trigger, all right. If he were to ever find out about my past, he would go mad. There's no way I'd be able to hold my marriage together. I would lose everything. I admire you. More, more than any other woman I've ever known. Thanks. I don't know what I've done to earn your admiration. Well, there are so many things. Okay, name two. <laughs> well, uh, let's see. You, you're very intelligent. And you're intuitive with people. Kind of like your cup's gut feeling. Yeah, yeah, like that. And, um, well, you're incredibly poised. No matter where you are, 
no matter what the circumstances. You know, you, you there have been some pretty interesting circumstances. <laughs> Too interesting sometimes. Yeah, but you've always held it together. Most people I know would have gone to pieces, but you know, you've always dealt with what's gone down. <laughs> That's two. <laughs> two. Things I admire about you. That's it, huh? No. You know, the, the biggest thing is that you've allowed yourself to change. How so? Well, uh, you know, when we first met, <sighs> how do I put this delicately? Oh, you can say it. I had an attitude. Yeah, that's the word. A chip on my shoulder. Yeah, but, but when I saw behind the facade, you know, I knew something was eating away at you. Now I know it was the nightmares, the secret of that night wasn't letting you be the person that you really are. It was keeping you from, from opening yourself up to a relationship. Nightmares always kept me afraid. I just didn't think that I was worthy of being loved. But then when a man who's me with all of his heart he comes along I, I do everything that I can to run him off I'm afraid that I'm not capable of returning that sort of love so that's why you uh... that's why what? Do you remember those conversations we used to have about love and life? Yes. Well, they made me think about starting a, a life with Gwen. You're the reason I asked Gwen to marry me. But then, it, you and I started spending all that time together. I'm you know, planning the wedding. We were caught in the cabin after the avalanche. And Bermuda. It just seemed that we were always together. And then before I knew it, I had all these feelings for you. Which culminated in my kissing you. Right here on the wharf. And after the accident, I thought I might lose you. All these feelings rushed in. And I realized what happened. I saw so clearly that I loved you. And even though I knew that I had this love for you, I couldn't bring myself to hurt Gwen. I still don't want to. I, I totally understand, Ethan. Even though you have these feelings of love for me, you're gonna marry Gwen. Is that what you're saying? Don't give in to evil, Cherry. Think of the power. Think of the power. Trust in your heart. Trust in love. Come to the dark side, Charity, now. Come with us. Forget those weaklings. Just in faith. Your faith will keep you strong. Your masters are calling Love you. surrounds you. Trust in your heart. She's really going through it, Tim Tim. It's a battle royal. The Cherry has to win. She has to. She will. If her and Miguel's love is strong enough. But is it? That's the question. I love you, Charity. Miguel! Ah! Think of the power. Come with us. Think of the power. The 
of Charlie's roofing. What happened, Charlie? He gets too busy keeping the snakes at bay to focus on his love for charity. It's given the pendant time to take charity over again. The pendant is regaining its full strength. Will it be in time to stop Miguel from finding a way out of the shed? So, in order to ensure that, it's time to implement Plan B. Plan B. We have to set the shed on fire. Burn Miguel and Kay alive. <laughs> Shed down, burn them alive. To the egg fire! Eat no food! And don't you forget that! Now torch the shed! <laughs> That's it, Kay! That's what's gonna save us! What? I'll be right back! Ah! Ah! No, 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 no. Listen to me, darling. I know the ways of the world. You have to start looking at Ethan as an investment. Oh, for pity's sake, mother. An investment you have to protect. You can't let anyone else get their claws into him, especially not Teresa. Mother, would you just stop talking like this? Teresa's not like that. She's my friend. Open your eyes, Gwen. Let's put it this way, mother. If I did believe that Teresa or anyone else for that matter was trying to steal Ethan away from me, you wouldn't have to warn me. You wouldn't have to tell me what to do because I would destroy them. You're the one who talked me into proposing to Gwen. You keep saying that you've been... Very... Although I've been expected to marry Gwen, I wanted to propose to her because I loved her. You know, I mean, the wedding's in a week. You know, invitations have already been sent. Gifts have been accepted. I know that. You know, and there are complicated merger deals between Gwen's family holdings and the Crane Industries. And they're all dependent on the wedding. But I'm sure money. It's like isn't... sometimes I feel like this the whole world is waiting for this wedding. Okay. I get it. You're gonna marry Gwen. Mm. No, Teresa. Teresa, I'm not going to marry Gwen. What are you saying, Ethan? I'm not going to marry Gwen next week. I mean, how could I when I've discovered that I love you? So the wedding's off? Yes, the wedding is off. <laughs> you what? We couldn't find any matches. Well, find a flint, rub two sticks together. We don't care what you do, but in about two minutes' time, that shed better be a big ball of fire. I think I will. Charity? Miguel. What is that? It's warm. 
what? It's your pendant. That's weird. Miguel. I'm okay, Charity. It's over. She's back! Timmy's Charity's back! Yes. How do we get her to stay, Timmy? That's the question. And how can we be sure that she never puts on that pendant again? Uh, one thing we can be certain of, though. Evil Charity will blame us for not killing Miguel in that shed tonight. But if there's no evil Charity... We can't count on that, lad. Far from it. In fact, we better reckon on Charity being as evil as she can be. And what will that mean to you and me, Timmy? What will she do to us? Huh? That why I did what? Is that why you didn't have a relationship? Yes. I, mean, I think that was it. But now that I know the truth of my past, I'm free. If I want to have a meaningful relationship, I can go for it. And, well, if I don't... Yeah. Free world, you're free to do whatever you want. <laughs> Carved it here after my father built the gazebo. Yeah, I thought he was gonna skim me alive. <laughs> oh. What's wrong? I just suddenly realized how selfish I'm being. What do you mean? Well, here I am, so happy because I've learned the truth of my past. I've forgotten that we're in this together. You had as much at stake as I do. What happened all those years ago. I know that you were hoping to resolve some of the questions that you had on your father's disappearance. That would be a breakthrough for you. Yeah, but I did have a breakthrough. And just talking to you about my father made me... Well, it made me realize that I'd closed off a part of my heart part that loved him, that, that knew that he wouldn't abandon his family. He couldn't. He didn't. Now, something else happened to him. He was... He was killed. I mean, there's, there's no other explanation. Please. I'm not gonna stop asking questions, Sheridan. Okay? And not till I find out exactly what happened to my father. Till I find the bastards that killed him. No, I don't remember any of that. Unless I just blocked it all out because I was really worried I was going to lose you. Well, that's one thing you never have to worry about. I'll never leave you, Charity. You see? Even Charity's not wearing that pendant. She doesn't remember anything. That's why we've got to keep that damn thing far away from her. What about Miguel? Evil Charity said we had to kill him. And so we shall. If we don't want to burn in hell for all eternity. Timmy votes we don't want that. Hmm. It's unanimous then. Miguel is a dead man. I know this is gonna sound crazy, but I have this weird feeling that Charity's responsible for those snakes. What do 
you talking about? Of course that sounds crazy. And even if Charity could round up a bunch of snakes, why would she I do it? I don't know, Simone, okay? I just have a feeling that Charity's behind this whole thing. It's unbelievable. All the snakes are gone. All that's left is a bunch of sticks. I'm sorry I didn't do what you think is right, Father. I don't want you to feel I'm chastising you, Eve. It's just that secrets have a way of becoming revealed. If the secret comes out, Louise will hate Sheridan. I pray that won't happen. Well, at least I brought them some happiness together. If this secret comes out, both their lives will be destroyed. When I do find the scum that killed my father, I'm gonna make him pay for all the hell they put my family through. I swear. When I find out whoever it is, I'm gonna hate him for the rest of my life. Thank goodness that person isn't me. Gwen is going to be terribly hurt. That's one of the reasons why I love you so much. You're always worried about other people. But I will help you tell Gwen. I mean, we'll go together. I'm sure she'll understand. to see that you are ready to fight for your man. Oh, Mother, don't you worry. If some other woman was trying to take Ethan away from me, I would rip that little slut limb from them. I hope you're right, Teresa. I hope Gwen will understand. Everything is okay. 